Today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the Diamond Select Toys, The Muppets, Collectible Action Figures, Statler, and Waldorf. Gauging the fact that this set release, Spot actually bought for, I think it was about $32 or so, which may seem high, but the other Muppets figures as well were going for about that same price. When you really think of all of what you're getting here with Statler and Waldorf, where you actually get the balcony set and their chairs, you really get a lot of bang for your buck versus the other figure releases. Uh, this is the continued look at the new Muppets line from the folks over at Diamond Select Toys. Spin around the side of the package, you've got yourself Statler and Waldorf. And then spin it again on the back of the package. Statler and Waldorf collectible action figures also available. The Bunsen and Beaker that we've already had a look at, as well as Animal with the drum set we've also had a look at. All these figures are recommended uh, for ages four and up, not recommended for ages zero to three. And it comes to us from the folks over at Diamond Select Toys. www.diamondselecttoys.com is your website you'd like to go to if you want to see other things being released, up and coming releases from Diamond Select. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. When we come back, though, we're going to get a better look at the new Muppets Statler and Waldorf action figure set. There's more heading your way. Don't go anywhere. Getting them out of packaging, the balcony hecklers will actually have some a little bit of assembly required. So what we're going to want to do is we want to move these chairs just to the side. You're going to want to take the back area, the area that actually has the curtains, and you want to make sure that the curtains are sticking up this way. So the bigger curtains are obviously running up the top and the tied off area is further to the bottom. There's a couple of little ledges here. Go ahead and take that and line it up to the top of the balcony. It's very easy to actually line it up. It's just a matter of knowing which which is which end up. And you get something that looks like that. Basically, repeat the same steps, but now the little notches are on the front. You're going to line that up to the front section of the balcony. And I find generally, when we're not banging the camera after all, I find generally with dime select releases, uh, putting stuff together is generally pretty easy. Everything is lined up, everything has a place, you don't have to struggle too much with it. And there you've got the balcony set. Just put the figures right there. They can hopefully stay. Styler does, seems to struggle a little bit getting him to stand. Let's have a look at the balcony and then we'll look at the figures themselves. The balcony looks exactly how it did in the series. Primarily a red and gold with a little bit of uh, a darker red in there. Some nice molding on the front there as well. There's the bottom of it. There's the back of it, which you're probably not going to see. Uh, you know what they actually should have done? Uh, just as a little little uh, suggestion. They should have put like a little, a, little, um, a little hole or something on the back where you could have actually mounted this on a wall. Now granted, it would be of smaller size, but just imagining, if you will, if you could mount this onto the wall, it would almost be like they're, they're in the balcony of your office or you know, any place where you display your figures. Uh, instead, it's relegated to basically just be sitting on a shelf, but I think hanging it could have gone a long way also. So we can put that right there. We'll put the characters just there for a second. The next thing we'll look at are the chairs. The chairs are identical to one another. There's no difference between the two. Also carrying over the red and the gold trim. There's a little bit of like, um, I don't know, like it's splattering or so of a darker gold on the back. I don't know if that's intentional, but again, it's not gonna be areas that you're necessarily going to see. The chairs themselves, I'll just move the characters out of the way once again. We keep moving them. If they're going to heckle anybody, they're going to heckle me now because I keep moving them. The chairs just, they don't peg in anywhere. They basically just sit loose, which is perfectly fine uh, because you're going to want to get the characters in there anyways. And there is your balcony set complete. Now let's have a look at the characters themselves. We'll put Waldorf right there. Uh, for those always struggling, and I used to do this when I was younger, trying to figure out which character is which, uh, Statler, I always think Statler, tall, Stat, S-T, I don't know, that's how I always remember. And Waldorf, I don't know how you could compare that. I always think Waldorf being a smaller name, like a smaller character. But for Statler, 
Statler's wearing a blue, sh uh, blue suit, blue pinstripe suit to be exact, with a lighter, lighter blue striping throughout the suit. It's a three-piece suit as well, so he's got a vest. The shirt is not quite white. In fact, it comes across more like a gray and also has a blue tie. The face, uncanny, looks exactly like how he does in the, the series. One of my favorite things was not necessarily a skits on Muppet Show, was actually the response of Sattler and Waldorf from the balcony, always heckling the acts that were performing. It would really make you think, if they were so unhappy with the act, why they keep coming back to the show, but I digress. Uh, the face is good. There's a, like a little bit of, just a little bit of paint or something, or residual actually on the eyeball of Statler. The rest of the paint is quite good. I don't know if it's just by the sculpt, but it does come across like it's actually a puppet material. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, for your articulation on Statler, his head is on a ball joint. Hinge joints on the shoulders, and this would actually carry over to both figures. Full rotation all the way around. He's got a hinge in the elbow, which also rotates the forearm, rotates the hand, and also has a hinge. Now, along that process, there's a little bit of paint that's flaked off from the hand. It's already happened a couple of times before. Uh, he has a rotation on the waist, forward and back motion on the legs. Also splits out as well. Not that you would necessarily need that for a character that's going to be sitting in a chair most of the time, but it's nice and appreciated that they would include that. He's got a bend in the knee, also a lower rotation on the leg area, and a ball joint in the shoes. So there is Statler. I think my favorite of the two is Statler. But I think that, you know, you can't do one without the other. The pair, ha you know, the pair are perfect, uh, you know, kind of uh, one zings from the other, sort of, so to speak. I mean, obviously, that's that's the success of Sattler and Waldorf. But now let's have a look at Waldorf. Again, a little bit shorter. There he is next to Sattler. Uh, his contrast to Sattler's blue suit is Waldorf's brown suit. Both still stand out well against the gold and the red of the balcony. Uh, I do like the face, I have to admit, on Waldorf. Uh, for one reason or another, it looks like the lower jaw area was was added after the fact. I don't know why they did that and not just simply sculpt the whole thing, but it does look sectional, which is probably one of the few nitpicks I can make about the figures together, is that just not crazy that that had to be a separate piece. It should have been all one together. Paint's clean on Waldorf, no issues there. Again, a brown suit with a brown vest, also an equally gray shirt to that of Waldorf's or Statler's. Uh, articulation, oh, and also I might add too, the jackets are rubbery, although cannot remove them obviously for obvious reasons, but they are slightly on the more soft rubber material. Articulation on Waldorf is exactly the same as his taller Statler. Hinge joints on the shoulders, the arms, the hands, the waist, the legs, the knees, and the feet. I guess the one notable omission, if you will, from articulation on Waldorf is that he doesn't have the split legs. Uh, Statler has it. For, for some reason, Waldorf has been omitted it. Uh, it can make getting them into their chairs a little bit difficult uh, because they are, for example, on a split-legged cut. It means that their legs, when you rotate them, as you can see clearly, when you rotate them, the, ro the legs want to rotate this way as opposed to this way. So at least you can compensate it by rotating the lower leg, allowing for much straighter looking, uh, you know, setup. And it just involves a little bit of tweaking and customizing, but you can get the characters fairly easy into their chair. As you can see here, there's Statler, or there's Waldorf. Now see, I'm doing it. I'll put Waldorf in there. And we can go ahead and do the same with Statler. Statler's a lot easier because he's got the different hinge on the leg area. Just bend the knees. Take the chair. It's easier to put them on the chair and then put them back into the diorama here. And it might just involve just a little bit of adjusting. But there you've got the two characters ready to heckle the Muppet Show. There you go. I had been really hoping 
right from day one that Diamond Select was going to give us a Statler and Waldorf. As much as I love some of the specific characters from The Muppet Show, uh, Bunsen, Honeydew, and Beaker, which we've already had a look at, also loved Gonzo, I always really wanted to get a Statler and Waldorf set. This is the kind of thing that you could put on display somewhere, and everybody walking by will know immediately, for the most part, will know immediately who these characters are. They may not know their names, but they'll say, oh yeah, it's those hecklers from The Muppet Show. It's a great showpiece, and something I touched base on at the beginning of this review, for your money, you're getting a lot. You don't get a lot of the smaller accessories that some of the other Muppet characters did come with, but to be fair, you're also getting yourself a good full-size balcony set which I think is really the price of admission. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look at the Diamond Select Muppets, Statler, and Waldorf set. Certainly stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more videos heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.